Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a baby haul for you all, and this is probably going to be part one of at least two, possibly three. Um, I'll probably have quite a few more before the baby is actually here. So I thought I might as well go ahead and start now because if I did one long haul video, it would be like an hour long and nobody's going to want to sit here for an hour and watch me talk about baby stuff. So. I am in the nursery right now and I'm trying to show you all as little as possible. So as you can see, like you can't see much besides what I painted back here. And I am so excited that it is almost done. It doesn't look like it behind me, but I promise it is almost done. And I can't wait to show you all in a nursery tour separate from this video, but I am in the nursery. So um, you guys get to see the color of the wall and the little chair that I'm sitting in. but. I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the big stuff that I have and then I'm going to work my way to clothes and I'm trying not to like the clothing that I have here I did I haven't shown I know I did like a tiny little um, baby finds in one of my pregnancy updates but I'm not including like those same clothes again I have one thing that I had shown like previously real quick before that I'm going to include but other than that that is all all everything else is new so I can't wait to show you all what I have and we better go ahead and get started or else this video is gonna be really really long okay and I'm going to try and leave everything in the description box below hopefully I can find most of this stuff if I can't um, I'm sorry but I'm going to do my best to leave what I can find in the description box below along with any codes that I might have for the items so now really let's go ahead and get started first of all I have this little cuddle and kind doll and Cuddle and Kind actually sent this little guy to me. I think his name is Sebastian. This is Sebastian the Lamb, and he is so adorable. And I have him sitting in this little chair right here. Cooper loves him. Um, I let Cooper play with him as well because it'll be a little while before Cash can play with him, but they are just so unique and so cuddly, and whenever you buy one, it gives um, 10 meals to children in need, which is really awesome. I just launched a unicorn today, and if I had a daughter, well, I have Sydney. I actually might, I actually might get Sydney one, actually. She loves unicorns. But if I had a tiny little girl, I would definitely get her. The, oh, the unicorns are so adorable. Anyways, I love this little guy. Link will be below if you're interested in ordering one. They're just, they're so cute and so unique. I just, I love the way that they look. So I'm still really fangirling about this next product, and that is the Docatot. And Docatot actually sent me their Grand and their Deluxe size, and the Deluxe, I believe, is the smaller one. The Grand is the bigger one. So both Carter and Cooper, I, I co-slept with them um, until they were about six months. Because I was exclusively breastfeeding, it's just what worked for us. Um, it was just way too hard to get up every night go back and forth from the, it just didn't work out for us so with both Carter and with Cooper I co-slept with them and um, safely co-slept don't freak out that's just what worked for us so I really wanted a dog top for Cooper um, but then by the time I thought about getting one he was already six months and I transitioned him to his crib now the bigger size you can put in the crib but what we did lately is I'm so glad that we had this is he was sick the past couple of days, did not want anything to do with sleeping in his crib. So as much as I didn't want to put him in our bed, I thought, you know what, I'm going to use the Docatot and he uses the Docatot to lay down in the living room, watch Mickey Mouse, hang out in it, stuff like that. But I was like, you know what, I'm going to use the Docatot he can sleep in our bed with us. It'll just be easier when he was crying all night. He was running a fever and it worked out really, really well. He slept in the Docatot. He felt, it looked like he felt super comfortable in it. Um, I could still kind of like hold his hand. He wanted to hold my hand. So that worked out well for us. So I got both sizes. I am over the moon excited to use this with the new baby. I feel like it's probably going to be a huge life changer for me because whenever I would, like when I was feeding the baby in the middle of the night, I, would, I couldn't even sleep because I was so worried about like them being there with me that I just like, it, I couldn't sleep at all. So I have a feeling that this is gonna help me ease a little bit of that fear of, um, you know, that they're safe in this little dog dot. So I'm gonna show you guys in case you haven't seen what a dog dot looks like. You probably have because dog dots are huge right now. I was gonna buy one of these anyways. And so whenever they decided to send one to me, I 
Well, I can't even tell you how excited I was about this. You can ask my husband, like, I'm still so excited about the Dakotat. So this is what the big one looks like. And my camera's gonna freak because it's white, but it's huge. I'm gonna lean back here. Um, Cooper has been using this one. I think it's got like probably some drool over here or something that I need to clean. Um, but that is the really big one. Now here is the smaller size. They also sent me the most adorable attachments for this smaller one. And I'm not sure if they go on the bigger one or not. I don't see why not. But your older one probably won't want to play with these attachments anyway. So that really doesn't make any sense. But this is the deluxe size. So it looks like this. And this is the one that you could put in your bed with you. Just like this. And I... I can't even tell you. I'm so excited about this. Here is what the attachments look like. And as you can see, it's got the little thing that will go over the dock tot right here. And then the little hangers, or hangers, yeah, the hanging, ah! The hanging toy set is right here. So, oh, good catch. Just like this. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. I am still fangirling at the fact that they sent me these. So, guys, I would have bought this regardless had they sent this to me. It was on my to buy for baby list. Um, and whenever you're having your third child, you kind of know the things that you didn't really use that much that were kind of a waste of money. Um, just things that, like you use for a month or two and you could probably do without. Um, so I feel like a Doc Tot is probably going to be a 100% must have. That's why I had it on my list of things to buy. So I, I'm just, I, I'm so excited about this. These toys are so adorable. It really matches his nursery as well. And I didn't even pick those out. They just sent those. So I, and so excited, Docatot. Thank you so much. You guys definitely check out Docatot for your babies if you're pregnant or expecting. I'm so excited about it. Moving on. I was also sent a Binksy baby and you guys, my life was made whenever Docatot and Binksy baby um, decided to send me their stuff. I wanted a Binksy baby with Cooper so badly and then he kind of outgrew the phase and by the time I learned about all this cool stuff, Cooper was already getting to the age where I didn't even need it anymore. So this is what it is. If you guys have not heard of Binksy baby, this is probably going to change your life. This thing hooks on, see how easy this is? This hooks on to the shopping basket. So let's say you're at Target and you don't wanna take in your whole car seat, which actually I believe you can like attach this to a car seat as well. Um, but if you don't wanna take in the whole car seat, you also don't wanna hold your baby. You don't wanna carry your baby. Your baby's too um, little to sit up in the front. It's a hammock. This is life changing. Look how adorable this is. It's got the straps inside. I mean, look at this. This baby is just chilling. I have wanted one of these for so long, y'all. It's the triangle pattern. I will have it below if you're interested in ordering, but y'all know that I go to Target, you know, multiple times a week. And so that is gonna be used so much, I can't even tell you how. <laughs> I'm just excited not to have to carry the car seat in all the dang time. Next product. See, we're already at like 10 minutes and I've only talked about like three products. So we're, we're in huge trouble. All right. This is a um, changing pad cover. And if you can see, I'm going to try and hold it up close here. It's got little um, bears little deer, um, I think little foxes or raccoons. I ordered this off of a shop on Etsy and I will leave it below because I don't exactly remember what the shop was called, but it was just so unique and I couldn't find anything in stores that actually matched his room. Um, they were either like too black or too like, I don't know, I just, I wanted something different and I know it's just a changing pad cover, but you guys, you know how fast you go through changing pad covers and you're constantly having to like interchange them out, but I wanted something really cute. So I got this one. If you guys are having a boy and you're kind of doing maybe like a little woodlands theme or a very neutral 
theme. I will leave this below because I love that little changing pad cover. I also picked this little basket up and this is from Home Goods. That basket was $12.99 and it's actually sitting in a little um, shelf bookcase kind of thing that I have over here. But I've just, I haven't decided what I'm gonna put in it. Probably blankets, burp cloth, stuff like that. I don't know, I've got like a whole closet full of that stuff. But when I was there on the same trip, I actually picked up these. And look how adorable these little swaddles are. So this one has got the little black crosses on it. This one is just a black stripe. And this is the one that like completely sold me. Look at the little milk bottles on there. And this was $12.99 at HomeGoods, if you can believe that I actually got this at HomeGoods. Um, they have a lot of these on a lot of like Instagram shops, Etsy shops. Um, this is kind of like the in theme right now I guess you would say but when I saw these a set for three for $12.99 these muslin um, muslin swaddle blankets um, I didn't need a, I don't need a whole lot of them because I have quite a few from Cooper and you know how you like accumulate blankets over the years everybody loves to give blankets at baby showers and stuff like that but I couldn't pass these up. They're pretty soft. They're not as soft as the Aiden and I blankets, but I have a feeling once they're washed, they're gonna get really soft. Okay, so I have mentioned these once before, but I know that they're worth mentioning again because we're gonna get a lot of use out of them. So if you missed the video where I talked about these, these are by Pickle and Olive, and these are little bibs with the teething thing on the bottom of them. And they are so soft and the teething part on the bottom is absolutely genius. Um, they sell these at Target, um, not these exact ones. They sell some like this at Target, but the pattern is not cute. The little teething bibs, it, they're definitely not cute at all. So how adorable are these? You can buy these off of Amazon, I believe. Of course, the link will be below. But look how cute these are. They're so cute. And I just love the little teeth. Like, it's just genius. You know, you've got, they're drooling anyways because they're teething and then they can chew on these. So those are by Pickle and Olive. Now moving on to clothing. And I have really tried to control myself when it comes to buying clothing. Most of this, actually, I want to say all of it came from Old Navy, except for a couple things that are from specialty shops, which will be in the description box below. First of all, his coming home outfit, well, I think his coming home outfit is going to be this one. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw a picture of this probably, but this is what it looks like. And it is from H&M online. Um, they might sell it in stores. The last time I was in store, I did not see it. So you'll probably have to order it online. This is the zero to one month size but it is so adorable. It's got the little onesie, the little pants, and then it has a little bib. I kind of wish that it came with a beanie. I have been on the lookout for a little black beanie for him to wear with it because he's gonna need something to keep his head warm. More than likely, he will be born at the end of February, so it's still gonna be pretty cold, but I just, I, I love this. I love this for a little boy. Um, it's hard in a way to find really cute things for boys. So when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I want him to come home in that. But there's still plenty of time for me to change my mind. So let me show you something else. I just got this. I had been waiting for this to come in the mail before I filmed this video. This, um, and I'm sorry if I have to keep leaning down. I, I need to just put this stuff in my lap, so hold on. My belly is definitely getting there, so leaning down every two seconds is really like taking my breath away. So I'm sorry if most of this video I'm out of breath. It's just, it's just life right now. I can't, I can't even help it. But this is by a company called Fawn and Sage and I ordered this on my own. They did not send this to me. Look how cute this is. This is a swaddle and it says little brother on it with the little hat. And if you guys have an Instagram, you need to check them out because this is just a completely genius idea and their pictures of the babies in them are what sold me. There's little pictures of the babies first born and all you have to do is just like wad this thing up like this, slip them into it, and it swaddles them up all the way up to here and then put their little cap on them. Oh, it's just so, so cute. This says, someone get my mom a coffee and this is from, um, 
what is that online? Zoo Lily. This is from Zoo Lily, and I got mine in a size six months, and I just couldn't pass this up because this is just this is me all the way. Um, it's just, I just thought it was so cute. So if they still have it, I will leave it below. Chances are they're probably sold out of it. I know how Zoo Lily works. They pretty much have something and then once it's sold out it's kind of gone but I'm sure you can find one similar somewhere but I will leave that below if I can find it and then I have one more onesie that is not from Old Navy and this actually just came in the other day this is from a company or a shop on Instagram um, called Milo's Corner and it says little nursling on it I loved the very natural color of this. I loved what it said, little nursling on there. I nursed both of my boys. Um, I nursed Carter until he was six months and Cooper until he was nine months. So I fully expect to nurse this one as well. Anyways, I thought I, it's just adorable. And the pictures, good pictures sell me really easily. So the company has really adorable, cute pictures. Um, so if you're interested in that, information will be below. I'm going to stop saying that now because I think you guys get it. All right, so now on to Old Navy. I have quite a bit of things, but let me tell you that almost all of this has been bought on sale. Eventually, it's going to go on sale anyways. Old Navy has sales all the time. You can get super cash. Half of the time, their store is like up to 40% off. Their little onesies go on sale for like $6. It's just it's gonna go on sale eventually. So I only buy things at Old Navy on sale unless I'm just like, I have to have that, okay? Which by the way, there are a few things that I just had to have, but they ended up being on sale when I got to the register anyways. Okay, anyways, so this little onesie is a size three to six months. This says born to roll on it. And actually, um, my mom ordered these for him. Um, this one says play hard, nap hard. And those are both in size three to six months. She ordered those for him. So um, they might still be online. I bet they're still online. And then um, this right here, <laughs> this right here is, um, let's see how much I pay for this, $6.49. And I think I used super cash. So really by the end of it, it was probably like nothing. But it's just this little sweatshirt and then these little pants. And for $6.49, I just, I couldn't pass it up. So this is size 6 to 12 months. And during that time, it will be cold. So I thought that that was really cute. So this is one thing that I really wanted. And I almost ordered it online. And then I saw it on at one of the stores that I was at. So this says, Mom and I were made for each other. And it's got the little milk and cookies on it. This is a size six to 12 months, but I am so glad I grabbed this when I did because I looked at other stores because I wanted to get like a zero to three months. All they had left was six to 12 when I got this one. And they were gone at the stores. So I don't know what it is about this shirt. I think it's the soft colors, this very light, um, white color and then the gray. I don't know. I have a thing for like this very light neutral colors like that. So, um, I'm pretty sure this was like $6, that little onesie. And then my mom also ordered this one for him. It says, I love you a ton. And it's got these little shorts with it. Is this not adorable? And I'm pretty sure she got this on sale or used, um, super cash with it, but this is a size zero to three months. And then I bought this one. This is a size zero to three months for $4.49. And it's just a little onesie. Um, and I figured it's gonna be February, March. It'll still be a little bit cold. These are just so easy to throw on them when they're little. And for $4.49, I just couldn't pass it up. Besides the Daka Todd and the Binksy Baby, if there is something else that you need to go out and get from this video, it is these. First of all, it's actually just one of them. So I, I bought this right here. Let me, let me backtrack a little bit. I bought this one. I love little sleepers. Let me tell you, for you first time moms, I, whenever I had Carter, I did not really think about the buttons at night. Y'all, trying to change a baby's diaper and change a baby's clothes who is all wet for milk or poop or whatever in the middle of the night with buttons is a disaster. You know the little, you know the ones I'm talking about where it's got the buttons up the front or whatever? Disaster. You're like half asleep and you're trying to put buttons to buttons, okay? I can't even do that when I'm completely awake and coherent. But at 3 o'clock in the morning when I am exhausted, trying to match buttons up is the devil. I'm not kidding. Like, I'll have one button here, one button here, and then I get to the bottom and I'm like, oh my gosh. 
Zippers are the only way to go. If you are going to buy sleepers, let me repeat this, zippers are the only way to go. I don't care how cute it is, I will not buy the little snap up ones, I just, I can't do it. Actually, I take that back, I think I bought one little snap up one, but anyways, this one was on sale, um, I think they were 9 or $10, I thought it was so cute, I love the colors of it. When you find something that's really cute for boys, you just, you can't pass it up because it's kind of few and far in between. Okay, this is what I was originally just saying. They have only one color for boys in store. Of course, you could have gray for girls and pink for girls, but they only have gray and pink in stores. They have a navy blue one online that I am this close to ordering, but they don't carry it in stores. These little gray ones right here. Whenever I announced Cash's name on um, Instagram, I was using this onesie. I had a few questions on where this was from. This is the softest material I have ever felt in my life and I've been alive for 26 years. <laughs> Look at this onesie. Okay, I loved it so much that I got it in two sizes. I got zero to three months and three to six months. I cannot tell you how soft this is. I mean, ugh, I want one for myself, but gray is literally my favorite color. So when I saw this, I was like, oh, that is adorable. And then I felt it and oh my God. So I might have to order the navy one online, but definitely check out the link below. I will, hopefully they're still available. Um, they're, they're the most, what kind of material is this? Let's find out what material this is. You guys can kind of get an idea. 76% rayon, 20% uh, polyester, and 4% spandex. So that is it for this haul. Now this is just like part one of Probably at least two, obviously, possibly three. It just kind of depends. Um, I still have a few things that I need to buy and that I would really like to share with you guys. A few things that I've ordered, a few things that I'll, I'm going to be sent. So I'm really excited to include those in the next few haul videos. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.